Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in uh, one of my regular watering holes. I'm in a Witherspoons pub. It is the uh, William Morris that's in Hammersmith, <coughs> London, United Kingdom. It's uh, Remembrance Sunday, uh, hence the tiny little poppy <coughs> there. Okay. Anyway. I'm about to recite my latest poem, uh, which, as always, I did in the early hours of this morning. It's called The Wastelands. Do not go gently into the wastelands. There is nothing for you there other than despair. There are times when temptation tempts the easy option when avoidance appears to be the best or even the easiest means of defense. And of course, there are so many roads on offer, likewise too many that run parallel, thus never meeting, which on the surface is an optimal method to avoid all confrontations. But think twice before entering the wastelands because the signposts are veiled, deliberately obscure, so as not to reveal the final destination. Do not go easily into the wastelands of the mind, however mysterious and tempting they may seem, because under its veil of secrecy is hidden all the horror of being solitary, for it is in fact the loneliest place of existence its purgatory, a silent maze of suffering, a capsule of complex insanity where, just like space, no one can hear you scream. Do not go lightly into the wastelands. Truth can never be found hiding in the shadows because truth is transparent and is to be found in confrontation face to face, the fear of which will make you run away. Do not be bamboozled by the wastelands, for lost are the souls who wander there. I was fortunate, I tripped over my own disillusionment, inadvertently found the exit to the maze, but most are not so lucky, condemned to wandering aimlessly, lost and lonely, sinking in the mire of discontent. Do not go gently into the wastelands.